Welcome to the newest video in our chart tutorial series. Today we are talking about new layouts like the layout you are looking at right in front of you which is two charts on the top, rather large, and then three charts at the bottom, evenly spaced. We are also going to be talking about a new feature that brings a whole new level of customization to your chart layouts. If you hover your mouse over each chart border, you can click and hold and then drag in either direction and truly make a custom layout that is unique entirely to you and your needs. And this works, of course, going across the screen, but also going up and down. So making a chart layout that is truly unique to you. Now, very quickly, before we dive into some more use cases and examples and other key things you should know about chart layouts, especially if you're a new member. Let us first remind you of some of the new layouts we also added, which are the five across, so you can view five beautiful symbols directly across the screen, or you can view six symbols directly across the screen, or you can view seven symbols, and lastly, you can view eight symbols. Now, obviously, you may want to pick a layout that fits your monitor or the size of your screen, but remember, every trader and investor does things a little differently. No trader or investor is truly the same, and there are millions of traders and investors on this planet, so it's key to remember that the point of this video and all of our videos in our tutorial series is that you have all the customizations you need to make something specific to your own unique style. Okay, let's get to some basics because we know, as always, a lot of new traders and investors are watching this video. And so we like to, of course, even though we are releasing new features such as the uh, you know, two charts on top, three on the bottom, five across, six across, seven across, eight across, and also the click and hold drag capability. But we also want to make sure that new traders and investors know all the other things that come with this. So first of all, every chart in every layout can be fully customized to your needs. So this background in this line, we, we did this. This yellow background in these candles, we also did this. And it's as simple as clicking. So you want to make sure you're clicking on a specific chart to select it. And then right clicking and going to settings. And from your settings menu, you can now customize this chart to your needs. For example, we have a background color right now that is solid. You can see here it's kind of a solid teal. Well, why don't we change that background color to a little darker? And let's also, while we're at it, change the line color here from blue to white. And now we've created this chart. And this is, of course, just an example, but we want to remind you of what to look for when you are making your own custom layout. Then, of course, there are things like the scales text, which in this case we are going to make white. And now you can see the scales text much, much more on this chart. Now, this is possible for every single chart in this window. Perhaps you want to ensure that every chart on your layout has sort of this white scales text so that they are super, super easy to see the price scales. So why don't we just do that on each chart? And as you watch, just start thinking about how you want your layouts to look and reminding yourself that this is possible really for your TradingView account and anything that you are looking to accomplish. So this here now is a custom chart layout that fits our needs. So let's talk about some use cases. Well, one of uh, the more interesting use cases that might appeal to many of you watching is very simply picking a layout, and it could be one of the new layouts, uh, for your uh, uh, watch list or for your interest in specific symbols. So on the left-hand side here, you're going to see some numbers. These numbers remind you how many symbols you're going to view or how many charts you're going to view in this layout. For example, this says one. Well, this is one gigantic chart. This is two. This is going to be two charts. This is three. This is going to be three charts. And the designs here, the templates here, give you an idea of what you can expect when you click. 
the exact template here is going to appear on your screen. So if, for example, you have four favorite symbols, so you follow four symbols in the world, well, you would go to the four, here this means four symbols, and then you would select the template that you see that fits your needs or sort of the uh, thing that you envision that you want to see. Let's go ahead and click four, perfectly spaced as a square, click. Now we have our four symbols right here. And as we showed you, one of the new features that's really cool is you can change the dimensions, dimensions of any chart in front of you. Now we have been demonstrating this as a way to view many different symbols at once or the key charts that you are most interested in. But keep in mind, this can also be used for multiple time frame analysis. We will make more videos about this in the coming weeks. But remember, multiple time frame analysis in the multiple chart layout uh, can really work like this. Let's pretend that we want to only look at Nike and we have a daily chart of Nike selected. So this is a daily chart of Nike. Now pretend we also want to see Nike at a more granular level. Well, we're gonna type in Nike, make sure it's selected on this chart as well, and we're gonna go down to 15 minutes. Okay, so now we have a, da a daily chart up here, a 15 minute chart here. Why don't we add a, let's change this symbol to Nike as well, and let's do one hour. So now we have a one hour chart here, and let's, let's, let's really explore this. Let's do a weekly chart now for a very long-term view. And let's also make this candles as well. So here's a weekly chart. And then here, why don't we make a monthly chart for a very long-term view and really zoom out so we get the full picture. Let's also log scale this so it looks a little more realistic for each percentage change. But now what we're doing is a form of multiple time frame analysis because we have one symbol, Nike, and many different time frames to study at the same time. Now with these new sim with these new chart layouts that we've added, the two by three here, five across, six across, seven across, eight across, and with the new feature to drag and hold to customize each chart in the layout, keep in mind that the syncing tools work as they always have. So you can sync a specific symbol in each layout. You may have noticed that we clicked each chart and then typed in Nike. Well, watch what happens when we type in Apple now. Every single chart changed to Apple. So this is where multiple time frame analysis and sort of your speed at using the platform can also come into uh, handy. Now, we've mentioned that a lot of different ways you can use the chart layout is specifically for following your favorite symbols. We were talking about this earlier in the video with the two charts on top, three on the bottom, but now you also now have another way of using the multiple chart layout and the new features, and of course the new ch chart layouts that have been added. So let's just demonstrate this again. If we wanted, we could do Euro USD, hit enter, and every single chart updates at once, and that is because we have the symbol linked. Now you can also imagine if we start to select each of these, you will see a similar thing occur. For example, if we click interval, well, you guessed it, we're now syncing every single chart in this layout to a specific interval. So here are the interval intervals, one day, one day, one day, one day, one day. So why would you want to use this? Well, one really important way you'd want to use this is let's say you had many different uh, symbols up. So let's get back to Nike. Let's put Apple here. Let's put, uh, let's put back BTC USD here. We'll keep the Euro here. And then of course, let's add, how about uh, Amazon? So what we've done is we've unsynced the symbol, but now we've synced the interval. So we have these charts in front of us, and let's actually, for this example, use the five across chart layout. So we have the new five across chart layout in front of us. And now what we're going to do is analyze all five symbols, totally different symbols, at once on different time frames with one single click. So we have Amazon, Euro, Bitcoin, Apple, Nike. We are viewing them all on the daily. And why don't we turn them all to candlesticks for this exercise? Okay, so we have candlestick charts entirely for this exercise. Let us make sure this background is a little easier to see for you. 
and why don't we just do sort of a blue okay okay now we have our charts here and watch what we can do now we have our five favorite symbols here five across let's click five minute they all instantly change to five minute charts let's click one hour they all instantly change to one hour chart let's click one week they all instantly change to one week charts so now if you are a trader following five symbols really closely or you want to really whip through all these different time frames and pretty much lightning speed uh, it's as simple as making sure your inter interval box is checked one last tip is it's the same for crosshair time and date range one of the best things you can do is dive in and uh, work on these tools yourself and you can see now here the crosshair is synced on each chart you can see that the date is showing at the bottom of each chart and these are uh, examples of syncing your layout so they all work in perfect harmony together we're not going to dive too much deeper into it because the core focus of this video was to show you all the different ways you can use these new layouts and especially the click and hold and drag feature to make an even more custom layout that fits your specific needs so we hope that you enjoyed this video and please as always stay tuned send us feedback we're always listening and we definitely want to hear how you use the chart layouts and what you need to perform even better research because we may just build that tool for you so please send us a, a note uh, open up a ticket in the help center write us a comment whatever it is however you want to reach us just get us your feedback and we'll do our best to potentially implement that exact feedback. So thanks so much for watching. We hope this video helps and we hope that you explore all of the new layouts that are now available to you.